I'm about to share 20 years of Firebase movement history in under five minutes. Let's go. In 2003, I had a powerful encounter with the presence of God that dropped me to my knees. When I felt his love and his peace and his joy, all I wanted to do was to give that away to others. In 2005, I spent one hour at the International House of Prayer in Kansas City and realized that day and night worship and prayer was going to be the nuclear reactor core of the End Times Church. In 2006, the Lord told my wife and I to sell everything, like literally everything, lamps, silverware, guitar, everything we had and follow him. In 2008, God sent me on a short-term missions trip to New York City to preach the gospel, heal the sick, and cast out demons. And that's exactly what happened. I was so full of faith when I came back. I knew my purpose and calling was to activate the church to do the things that Jesus did all over America. In 2010, I had a significant encounter with the Lord. Uh, I actually had a vision of, of a velvet curtain being pulled back by his hand, and I knew it was God was going to reveal something significant to me. And he spoke into my spirit and said, Stephen, I want you to raise up day and night worship and prayer and marry that to day and night mission. And I knew that God was giving me some of the initial DNA for what would ultimately become the Firebase. In 2011, we started our very first messenger boot camp, what's now become a 10 week intensive to move people from two hours on a Sunday to actually living as disciples of Jesus, walking in intimacy with the Lord, walking in biblical identity, healthy relationships and family, and of course, mission, evangelism and discipleship. In 2013, we did our very first Firebase outreach in Kansas City, Missouri. We'd seen creative miracles on the street, salvation, healing and deliverance. From there, we went back to our base in Minneapolis and did a three-day Firebase outreach in the middle of Gay Pride. From there in 2014, we went to Love LA and did a whole week of day and night worship, prayer, and evangelism with follow-up and discipleship. Then we went to New York City in 2015, to, to San Francisco and to Dallas, Texas in 2016. In 2017, we did Love Detroit. 2018 was Love Chicago. And then 2021, we did Love New Orleans. At the end of 2019, beginning of 2020, the coronavirus hit and all ministry shut down. Probably the best thing that ever happened to us because we got quiet enough to hear what God had in mind. He said, I want you to start focusing not on going and doing week-long events, but I want you to establish a permanent mission base in the Twin Cities, a fire base that's going 365 days a year. The Lord gave me a list of five local churches uh, to seek partnership with to establish the fire base 365 days a year. First church said no. Second church said no. Third church said no. Fourth church said no. I started to feel like Mary and Joseph trying to find somewhere to have this baby called the fire base. Uh, finally, George Floyd is killed. The last church on my list was City View Church. And it was within 12 blocks or so of where he was killed. So we uh, reached out to Walt McFadden, the pastor there, said, hey, can we partner to do outreach into the riots? That was incredible, uh, very fruitful. After that, we said, hey, why don't we, would you be open to us staying here and just building worship and prayer and doing outreach out of, out of this location as a mission base? Walt said, yes. The elders said, yes. We've been there for several years. And the ministry continued to expand with more worship sets, more outreaches, until eventually we were outgrowing, uh, co-locating with them. Fortunately for us, another part of the building opened up and uh, a dedicated space became available for, to the fire base for the first time in 20 years. 
Friday, November 17th, from 6 to 10 p.m., the demons are going to be crying because God is establishing a mission base in the heart of Minneapolis that's dedicated to 24-7 worship and prayer and 24-7 evangelism and discipleship. This is why that's exciting. We're going to have 8,000 hours when this thing's fully operational. Of course, it's going to take a while to build up to that. We're going to have 8,000 hours of worship and intercession over the church, over the people of God, over the lost, over our government and city officials, over the marketplace, over the schools, over every facet of culture that's important to the heart of God, married to the answer to those prayers actual hands and feet of Jesus, 84 weekly outreaches going out of that, out of the presence of God, in the power of God, armed with the word of God and and infused with the spirit of God to engage over 100,000 people a year in the Twin Cities with the kingdom of God. Wow. I think that's worth being part of. I think that's worth investing in. And I hope you think so too. I want to see you Friday, November 17th at Firebase Twin Cities for the launch of this missions base that we hope and pray will hasten the day of the Lord's return and bring in the harvest in our city.